everyone. My name is Kim and I'm the happiest cook. Before we swing into cooking today, I wanted to bring you a quick update on our delicious new world tour of the happiest cook. Yay! Each week we will be featuring different recipes unique to specific cities. Do you have a favorite recipe unique to your city? If you do, leave it in the comment below. Who knows, maybe one day soon we'll be visiting your neck of the woods. And finally, a short channel update. We have been cooking for YouTube for about four months now and have done 40 videos. Not bad, huh? Well, the data guy well, we have had 9,000 views with 120 subscribers. That's 1.3%, which according to YouTube, is a new channel's average. But to keep our channel going, we'd like to see about 2%, which means we need your support as we deliver fun and tasty recipes to you. And no, we aren't asking for money. We just want you to subscribe below and like us. It's free. We really do appreciate it. All right, enough commercials, back to cooking. Today we are wrapping up our exploration of New York City and its delicious food with a variation of a barbecue treat found in food trucks and street vendors across the city. It's our barbecue chicken and bacon skewers. These are absolutely the best. They're quick, easy, fun, fun to eat. And I think that this is something everybody should try at least once, okay? Now, there is a trick to cooking these. The sauce is thick and you don't wanna burn your chicken skewers. So you need to make sure your grill is as set at a low medium temperature. Um, normally when I go to barbecue, I crank my grill up and, and sometimes I've seen it hit 600 degrees. That's not what you want. You wanna keep your grill down low. And don't forget to soak those skewers in water before you start uh, assembling your skewers. So, I have all my things together. Do you have yours? Okay, let's, uh, like I always say, let's get cooking. Okay, so we're gonna get our chicken ready. These are boneless, skinless chicken thighs and all we're gonna be doing is cutting these into squares. And in case you didn't notice, this is my brand new cutting board that my husband made me for the happiest cook. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> I really like it a lot. This is the first time I've used it really for like cooking, cooking. Okay, clean utensils, clean working space. We are going to cut, I'm doing 12 skewers. So we want these cut about three quarters of an inch long. So we're going to just cut them just like that. That should be enough. All right, so now that we have our chicken and we have our bacon done. All right, so these skewers have been soaking for about three hours. You can do them as quick as 30 minutes, but you definitely want to skewer them. So all you do is chicken, 
bacon. And you just continue down however you want to do them. They're all done. You want to leave on your skewer, you'll notice one end is flat, one end is very sharp. This is where you put the meat on, this is your handle. You want to leave about an inch on the end of your skewer. So don't push it, don't push your meat all the way to the end, okay? There's what they look like complete. And I'm just going to fill up my tray with skewers. Hi! Well, it has been a busy day and I have chicken skewers ready for the barbecue grill so I thought why not take it outside and let's film this while we do it on the back porch. We're gonna do three and four minutes with barbecue sauce and flip them again and three to four minutes with barbecue sauce. Just watch your sticks make sure your sticks don't start to burn. So if they do, just move them over to the side of your grill, okay? for being with us this Sunday afternoon. Our chicken skewers are gonna be coming off the grill in just a moment. I just wanted to say thank you for joining us and, and thank you for hitting that subscribe button at the corner bottom of the page. Uh, we really appreciate it. And I look forward to having you join me again next weekend as we journey to a new city. We've had fun in New York City, but it's time to move on. So anyway, I just want to say thanks. And like I always say, let's get cooking and keep on cooking.